Hello folks and welcome to another battery test video. Today I have four chip away nickel metal hydride batteries to put on test. The first one is Duracell a rechargeable cell. It's made in China and it's rated at 750 milliamps per hour. Second, I have this German Varta Recharge Aku, which is rated 800 milliamps per hour. Third is this Tronic Energy Eco, which is a brand of Lido. It's made in China and it's rated 950 milliamps per hour. And last, I have this Japanese Panasonic and a loop which is rated at 750 milliamps per hour. I have already charged all four of them and my plan is to use this smart battery charger, dirt discharger to discharge all four and see which one will be the best battery of them. The device is programmed to discharge the batteries until they reach 0.9 volts when a battery reaches that threshold the device automatically starts to charge it so I will be monitoring the whole process and I will be writing the values of each one of the batteries now let's insert them in the charger As you can see, all of them are fully charged. 1.44, 44, 47, 45. Let's turn off the device. Now let's power it on again and select the discharge mode. Now let's select the highest available discharge current, which is 350 milliamps and the process has started we can monitor the discharge current of each one of the batteries their voltage the milliamps per hour the battery managed to provide and of course the elapsed time. After 30 minutes, here are the values of the batteries. The voltage of O4 is pretty equal. And they all managed to provide one 174 milliamps per hour. After one hour and four minutes, we have the following values. Again, the voltage is pretty equal on all four batteries. And they managed to provide 366 milliamps per hour. After two hours, we have a little bit development with the discharge process. The Varta has the lowest voltage, followed by the Duracell and the Tronic and any loop are going head to head. Our battery is provided 600. 89 milliamps per hour. After 2 hours and 24 minutes, the Duracell will be the first discharge battery with provided 800 and maybe 20 milliamps per hour. Yes, 
820 milliamps per hour for the Duracell. And let's remove it. 2 hours and 25 minutes. We are left with the Varta Eneloop and the Tronic Eco. The Tronic is performing best for now. Not long after the Duracell, the Varta will be the second discharge battery. 854 milliamps per hour, 2 hours and 31 minutes. Eight hundred fifty seven milliamps per hour for the Varta, and not long after the Varta, the any loop rapidly discharged. As you can see, it's charging now 865 milliamps per hour. And I've even missed the whole process. After three hours of discharge, the cheap Tronic Energy Eco managed to provide the amazing 1019 milliamps per hour. It managed to surpass its rated capacity by far a lot and it's still discharging. Let's see for how long. 3 hours and 9 minutes and 0 0.93 volts for the Tronic Energy Eco 92 and provided 1073 milliamps per hour. Amazing performance for the Tronic Energy Eco. It's the cheapest battery of all four but uh, one thousand seventy four milliamps per hour from rated nine hundred and fifty all four batteries surpassed the rated capacity but this one here is a real bargain for such chip away battery costs only three and a half euro and you get an amazing performance beating even the panasonic in a loop so thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video